that was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. There is an Auburn professor, yes, Auburn University, my alma mater. I, I love my university. Nine times out of ten, when I see their name in the news, I'm excited about it. This is one where I kind of have to hang my head in shame here. Uh, an Auburn professor says, F every single cop. So this is the original tweet by Dr. Jesse Goldberg. And uh, if we can go ahead and pull that up here. There we go. All right, so Jesse Goldberg tweeted this, and we couldn't get the actual screen grab of the tweet itself because his Twitter is private after another event that we'll talk about here in a second. But this is essentially it here, where he says, word I can't say, expletive, every single cop, every single one. Okay, so he's real clear about that. The only ethical choice for any cop to make at this point is refuse to do their job and quit. The police do not protect people. They, pol they protect capital. They are instruments of violence on behalf of capital. A couple things here. First of all, I guess the whole hashtag not every cop thing is gone now. Because that was the narrative from the left for a long time, right? Okay, well, yeah, we're, we're talking really badly about cops and we're saying that they're all systematically racist, but not every cop. Which, I mean, that, that stance was hanging by a thread anyway. And this guy's like, nope, every single one, all of them, they're all bad. Not a single good one. F all of them. And this is the guy that is charged with teaching English to your children at Auburn University. So, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe English is racist. Maybe the people at Rutgers were onto something there. Uh, but no, Jesse Goldberg, just for context here, remember... This is the same professor that a few months ago was featured in another episode or another portion of Daily Dose of Stupid when he refused to say War Eagle because it had the word war in it. So apparently, saying the word war, that's a bridge too far, it's too offensive, it's too controversial, I can't bring myself to say it. Saying F every cop, every single one, they're all bad. No big deal there. What kind of screwy fantasy world is this dude living in? But anyway, let me ask the deeper question here. Why is racism bad? Seriously, think about this. Why is racism a bad thing? It's because you assume certain things about a person before knowing who they actually are. You look at their skin color and you say, oh, I know things about that person, positive or negative, uh, I know certain things about that person because of their skin color. I'm going to assume that that person is lazy or ignorant or whatever else or genetically inferior because of their skin color. So what's that called? That's called prejudice, right? That, that would be the textbook definition of prejudice. In fact, we have the textbook definition of prejudice right here provided by Merriam-Webster's dictionary. You can see here prejudice. Injury, uh, we'll skip past the first one because that's essentially the legal definition. So the definition there that I have highlighted, preconceived judgment or opinion or an irrational attitude of hostility directed against an individual group or race of their supposed characteristics. Now, of course, police officer is not a race, but how does all of that not fit exactly with his little spiel that he did on Twitter against police officers, because remember, prejudice can be against a group. That's what the dictionary just said. Now, maybe the dictionary is racist now, I don't know. But, but nonetheless, so he's engaging in not racist-based prejudice, but prejudice nonetheless. That's wrong. And so I guess that, you know, by, by any standard, you could say it. And, and the second part of that, which is really funny, is what does he mean by protecting capital? Well, I assume what he means there is protecting stuff, protecting uh, pro things from property damage, protecting storefronts, that kind of thing. That's primarily what police do. There's very few occasions, it happens, but it's rare, where a police officer saves somebody's life or protects a person directly. Usually, I wouldn't say all of their job, and I don't even know what percentage of their job, but a significant portion of their job is protecting property, and that is true, why is that a bad thing? Why is a police officer protecting a person's property 
not something that should be applauded. I mean, if they're stealing your stuff, you're super grateful for that, that that police officer showed up and stopped that event from happening, aren't you? I would think so. It's such a insane... I mean, this this guy's already clearly got his own problems. This dude's mind is a bag of cats. I don't know who hired this dude, but... Uh, I mean, th this is just absolutely insane. First of the War Eagle thing, now this. Why is it a bad thing that police officers are charged with protecting our property? Life, liberty, and property, those are the primary rights, aren't they? And furthermore, when it comes to protecting capital, that often is tied into your livelihood. I mean, if, if you've only got enough money for food for a couple weeks and someone steals all your money, then you go hungry for those next two weeks. And if it happens often enough, it can hurt you and injure you to a way that you cannot survive. Capital is important, and it should be important. I'm not saying that it's as important as a human life, but it can contribute to the betterment of a person's lifestyle. And this is why this whole insane leftist idea of defund the police is asinine. Who's hurt the most by that? Is it the guy that's living in a gated community that probably has enough money to afford a security system and armed guards and all that? Does that guy suffer because the police officers aren't around anymore? I mean, he might theoretically, but probably not. If you live in a super nice neighborhood, even if you don't have armed security, is there a high likelihood that your stuff's going to get taken because the police aren't around? Probably not. Maybe a little bit higher than the guy living in a mansion with armed security, but definitely not a, a really high level if all of your neighbors are, are basically at your income level and, and they don't really have any reason to steal. So who does it hurt? It hurts people in poor communities. It hurts people in you know government housing and the projects and, and just neighborhoods that are lower income. And that's true across the race spectrum, black, white, whatever. There's an awful lot of, uh, you, you know, there's mixed race there just like everywhere else. It does primarily hurt minorities, or at least some minorities, not Asians, but it does hurt some minorities because they are more apt to be impoverished. But this goes a lot further to hurt, like, you know, a single mom that's raising a couple of kids uh, who maybe her husband passed away or something like that, and uh, she can't really defend herself or her children if the police aren't there to help her. Now, I would suggest that that person would be armed. I'm assuming that Dr. Jesse Goldberg would not suggest that for a young woman. But isn't the police benefiting her more than the other people? See, this is the irony in a lot of leftist thinking, leftist policies. The policies that they propose actually hurt the people that they are purporting to protect. The odds of getting shot as a black person just because you're black, I mean, like you're not committing a crime or anything like that, or it's an unjustified shooting, is infinitesimally small. You're more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to be killed wrongfully at the hands of a police officer. But if you're a poor black person in a poor black neighborhood, the odds of you getting robbed if the police are no longer there to deter people from robbing you significantly higher. I mean, even with the police, it's significantly higher than the first scenario where you would get shot unjustifiably by a police officer. But those are the people that this hurts the most. And they're ignoring that. Idiot leftists like this guy probably never even consider that, but those are the people that are most harmed by the calls to defund the police. But keep in mind, this is the guy that thought War Eagle was too offensive to say, so we shouldn't expect much. Ever wonder where Superman gets his incredible powers? Some people say it's the yellow sun of Earth, but I think it's because he subscribes to this channel and likes my videos. Now, I'm not saying that if you subscribe to my channel you'll necessarily wake up tomorrow as a super strong, nearly invincible alien, but it definitely doesn't hurt your chances.